Hey guys, today we're taking apart the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is actually the Sprint version, model number SPH L710. It's slightly different from the standard GSM and CDMA models. If you need parts for this phone, I'll be providing a link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. First, you want to remove the back cover and the battery. This one appears to be a replacement battery straight from Sprint, so yours most likely won't look like this. Next, you want to remove these 10 Phillips head screws from the midframe. Some of these screws tend to get stuck in the midframe you can just use a pair of tweezers to pull them out, or if you don't have the tweezers, typically they'll pop out when you remove the midframe. Place your fingers under the top of the midframe, and with a little leverage and some wiggle action, it should pop right off. Now we can remove the power button connector and the loudspeaker connector. After that, you can pry off the loudspeaker with your fingernails. If you don't have any of those, you can just use a metal pry tool. Pop off the connector for the front facing camera. Now the LCD ribbon cable connector. A word of advice, you want to be extra careful with this component when reassembling this phone. Make sure it lines up perfectly before clicking it back in place. Detach the coax cable. You can use your fingernail or a plastic sponger. Next, remove the single screw holding down the logic board. Be sure to remove this before trying to pull up the board where it's game over. Now that all the other components have been removed, you can gently pull the board away from the screen housing. Pop off the rear facing camera. Remove the screw and the bracket holding down the front facing camera. Gently pry up the volume buttons from the frame. Now you can pull up the rest of this ribbon cable, which is also attached to the ear speaker. Pop off the front facing camera, which also has the proximity sensor connected to it. Gently pry up the vibrator contact pads, and then the part can easily be removed. Last, we can pry up the coax antenna board. There's actually a small gap to insert your tool, and then you can begin prying up the part. That wraps it up for this teardown. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive alerts for future videos. I'll be providing a link in the description to purchase parts for this phone. Also, the tools used in this video. A word of advice, always go with used or refurbished OEM parts if you can. I've been doing repairs for a long time, and when it comes to new, generic, versus used OEM parts, it's a no-brainer. Trust me, this will make your life a lot easier. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Until next time, thanks for watching.